And tonight, the river fire near Colfax has not grown over the past 24 hours, still at 2,600 acres and 56% contained. However, the challenge for crews is removing hazardous trees and other snags from inside the fire zone. And heavy smoke from the Dixie fire is keeping being retardant. Evacuation orders have been lifted in most areas outside the fire perimeter, but CBS 13's Heather Jansen is in Placer County with many evacuees still waiting to see if their homes are standing. You can see some of those road closures keeping people out of those mandatory evacuation areas. But just around the corner, some people were able to return home tonight and still to overcome with emotion to speak with us. Thankful to be home, knowing they're one of the lucky ones. It's good to be back home. Mike Walker now allowed back home and grateful to still have a roof over his head. It relieved me so much. I couldn't leave. You know, at least I could sleep at night after that. Knowing many of the surrounding communities can't say the same. Homes at the top of Hillcrest Boulevard among the dozens destroyed. I had three friends lose houses over there. Ron Pucci can relate to those friends. His lush greenery and home of 47 years lost to the river fire when flames closed in. His family barely made an escape. And I can see that my house is already fully engulfed in flames. Nothing left but embers and ashes. We're a little disappointed right now, but uh, we'll bounce back. Firefighters continue checking homes. Crews not allowing many people back until power and water can be turned on. Ron eager for all evacuations to lift, ready to rebuild. We'll recover, but it's going to take a long time. Many families in the depths of destruction still anxiously awaiting a chance to return home. Well, some people did have a chance to return to their homes and assess the damage or collect essentials if they're with an escort. Ron was one of those people. He was able to check in on his property, go there, see exactly what things looked like. And even though there's nothing left, he said it was still cathartic to be able to set foot on his property once again.